Hey guys, what's up? It's AppleCritics from AppleCritics.ca and in this video I'll be taking a look at iOS 7. Now the long-awaited, much anticipated iOS 7 is finally here. Uh, and in this video I'll be taking a hands-on look at the initial uh, first beta of iOS 7. Now Apple has changed a lot uh, and my first impressions is that uh, this OS is really growing on me uh, and Apple actually has made some innovative changes that I didn't think they would make and I thought I would be disappointed, but here I am and I'm really happy with what Apple did. So once you go to the lock screen, you can see that you have new uh, fade in and fade out animations, which is really cool. Uh, and you have the time right here. You can swipe down uh, and you'll pull your, and that will pull down your notification center. Uh, it says the weather as well. Uh, it's very elegant uh, and I can't stress that enough. Uh, and then you also can swipe up to the camera or you can swipe up to some of your quick settings right here. Uh, and then what you can do is just simply slide to unlock. So you just slide. And then you can see I'm on my home screen right now. Now taking a close up look at some of the icons, some people say that it's uh, some childish icons, but I don't really care about the icons. I, I care more so about the contents of the OS. Now taking a closer look, you can see the icons kind of look 3D, but you really have to see it in person uh, to uh, do it justice. And this is a new UI. They didn't change up the UI much, but changing the icons and making it more flat and polarizing, I guess, really did help. Now, if you go into the messages, you can see it's a new messaging uh, app. Uh, and say if I message, you can also see that there's a new keyboard, which is also very nice. Then I can just say hi. But as you can see, the messaging is a lot different, and even with iMessages, uh, it looks a lot uh, different, and it looks very, very nice, uh, and it's a nice upgrade. Now, swiping up to reveal quick settings, you can see you have a bunch of quick settings. That's a lot like a jailbreak tweak. Now, you have a, a flashlight, you have a timer, you have your calculator, you have your camera, all the essentials. Uh, you have AirDrop, which is basically uh, a file sharing service that they finally brought to the iPhone. You can see I was just playing a song, Wild for the Night. Uh, brightness right there. Uh, and you have some five toggles right here as well uh, and that's a really nice addition and I really do like the quick settings and also uh, this is a little hidden feature uh, so if I just swipe down you can see I can search my iPhone for any app so say for example the camera and you can see it'll just bring it up like so now going into the camera there's actually a lot change with the camera you have these buttons at the bottom that include video photo and square and also panorama now going into video uh, it's a nice new interface uh, and say if I start recording a video right now you can see the time at the top you can see the new uh, record button and it can stop and then go back now photo stills are just the same uh, but you have some new features as well and if I press this button right here you can see that I have a bunch of new filters, kind of like Instagram, uh, which is a nice built-in feature as well. Uh, square is right here, so it will change the elements of the photo and actually shrink it down. And then you have panorama right here as well. So I could just do a nice panorama, uh, and that was always there, but it's just uh, integrated better. Now, if you want to add a app into a folder, so say, for example, this FaceTime app, you can see that you can have an infinite amount of apps and folders, uh, and that's in that, and you can see that there's two pages, uh, so that's another nice feature that Apple added. You can have as many apps as you want in a folder, and there's just no limit. And also, multitasking has now changed. Uh, so the multitasking was basically the same since iOS 4 when they changed it, but now it's finally changed. So say if I open a few apps, so videos, um, passbook, and for example, music. And now I go into multitasking right now. You can see the new interface right here and say if I want to get rid of an app, all I have to do is just swipe up and it's gone. And it has this cards UI interface, which I really do like. Now you also have AirDrop, which is the, the equivalent uh, to SBeam on Samsung devices such as the Samsung Galaxy S4 and Note 2. 
Uh, so Apple did make a joke that you don't have to bump phones together like that. Uh, it actually just works uh, and it transfers over the Wi-Fi network. So if I quickly access my quick settings and then I go to AirDrop, I can choose what I want for AirDrop, and then if I have somebody else on iOS 7 right now, I can share some files, pictures, and videos, and much more. Now Siri has also changed. Now Siri was recently introduced, but now it has two voices, male and female, which is another nice change. Now the user interface, I must point out, looks really, really good with the blurred effect. I'm taking a nice look at it. It's really, really nice. What time is it in Paris? Now Siri does work, it's just taking a little bit, uh, but overall the user interface does look really nice. Now Siri also can control uh, Bluetooth, Brightness, Twitter integration, Wikipedia, and Bing, uh, and also that's a very nice feature. Also with the App Store, Apps now automatically update. Uh, the App Store didn't receive any changes, uh, but it did get changed in iOS 6. Now iTunes Radio is also in the music app, and on that point, music the music app has also changed a lot. Uh, so if you, uh, say for example, go straight into the cover flow, you can see all the music that you have with all the albums, especially if you bought the music like I did. Uh, it really helps to see like a really nice uh, picture of all the albums that you have, and that's the new cover flow. Uh, and also the songs are a lot different. Uh, so say for example, I play um, some Kendrick Lamar, and then I pause it. Uh, you can see that the interface has also changed a lot. Uh, so you have the play buttons and music uh, and everything and the album artwork. And if I go to the lock screen, you can see uh, that it does look very elegant once I'm playing a song. So as you can see right there, you have the album artwork, which does look very nice. It's really integrated seamlessly. It can just simply swipe to the left and go straight in into this and go straight into the song. Now some other features is that phone, FaceTime, and messages now have blocking uh, so you can block certain numbers to stop them from calling you uh, or FaceTiming you or messaging you. Now the weather app. The weather app is just simply stunning. Now going into it, it looks really really nice. This is one of my favorite upgraded apps so far. Uh, you can see looking at Vancouver's weather, you can see everything right there. Uh, it just does look really elegant and I like how they borrowed uh, some features and design from uh, Yahoo uh, and this is looking very solid. Now Safari is also revamped. So if I go to none other than applecritics.ca And then I search. You can see the whole interface is all different. And then I can add some tab browsing. Uh, so if I go to uh, Apple, for example, and then I load up another tab, say for example, Yahoo, you can see that you have this nice tab browsing right here. Uh, and it's very 3D-esque. And that's the new changes in Safari. And Safari also has, and Safari also has a lot of changes. Now some other notable features is that the calculator has changed um, and it does look a lot uh, Apple-esque and it does look very elegant and also uh, there's a new game center redesign. Uh, now with FaceTime you can also uh, chat just audio only kind of like Skype uh, so that's a feature they should have had a while back. And you, you have notification sync so your notifications can sync all across your devices. Uh, you have the improved mail app. And if you go into the phone app right now, you can see it's changed a lot. Uh, the keypad is a lot different, and I really do like that. You have a new Photos app. Uh, you now have an Inclimeter, uh, and that's basically a Gravity 3D space uh, meter that was introduced into iOS 7. You have a new Calendar activation lock, which prevents thieves from wiping your phone. Uh, so it's kind of like an anti-stolen iPhone thing, uh, which is a nice feature. Uh, there's a new Maps revamp, like a lot of features are added, and I really think it's stable now, uh, and it won't le lead you to uh, a dead end or anything like that. 
uh, and there's no more uh, faces and places uh, so whenever you take a picture it usually would geotag where you took it uh, so if you took it at, at your house it'll show it on the map uh, but that's no longer there uh, and there's also uh, I have to say iOS 7 is really good I cannot explain how good iOS 7 actually is and I'm really surprised and it's a nice upgrade now also uh, there's new animations and everything I really do like that uh, and iOS 7 is everything and all uh, polarizing and very flat and that's the best way I can describe it it's very elegant I'm so surprised Apple did this uh, and I only think iOS 7 can get better from here on out and it can finally compete with Android again so thank you for watching this video please be sure to subscribe like this video please follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash albacritics also go ahead and like this video as you know you watch and go ahead and check out my Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash albacritics and Go ahead and buy an Apple Critics t-shirt to support me, and that will help me make more videos. Uh, so go ahead and go to applecritics.spreadshirt.com. It will be in the description down below. Uh, and also check out applecritics.ca for the latest Apple news, reviews, and more. And thanks for watching.